there, my name is Jen Miola. I'm a hip New York City music chick. I live and breathe music. I actually have my own underground music video show called Rock This, and we're going to check out a few clips a little later on, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And I'm constantly on the scene, either going to concerts or interviewing bands or just partying like the rock star, you know, we all want to be someday. For the CD that I have to recommend to everybody, okay, would be from The Vines. Those boys rock from Australia. And um, Get Free is like my favorite song on the CD. Because every time I hear that, you just feel like you are free and that you just want to run around in the streets of Manhattan, you know? The soundtrack to my life would have to be Lead American from Jimmy Eat World, okay? Especially the song Sweetness. If I had to pick one song from the Jimmy Eat World latest CD, it would have to be Sweetness, because I'm all about sweetness. But no, it goes a little deeper than that. Um, because whenever I hear that song, I feel like those fuzzy butterflies in my stomach. So when you know when you hear a song and you get this really great feeling inside you, you'll never ever get sick of that song in your life. So that would have to be the soundtrack song for me, especially because it it's like puts you on a natural high and it makes me feel, it inspires me to actually fulfill all my dreams and that's why I'm doing this, hopefully for much music, you know? So, I have to say, everyone, music is everyone's best friend, it is certainly mine, you know, it's there for your good times and your bad times and it never judges you, so we always have something there in our music, so rock this. The CD that I would have to pick if I was stranded on a deserted island would have to be Radiohead's Pablo Honey because Tom York, his vocals just do something for us all. It's like we all have a friend in Tom York, he understands us and especially being alone on a desert island he would help me feel less alienated by listening to Pablo Honey, you know, especially thinking about you, that song because it'll make me, uh, remind me of the loved ones back home, you know, and also creep, because then you're going to be kind of angry, so you want to get your aggression out all by yourself, kicking some sand or whatever you want to do on the island. <laughs> I'm Jen, and we're going to be roaming around the Roadrunner record label here in New York City during this show. I'm going to be doing an interview with Paul Resta from the label. But right now, you should check out this video. This is Fear Factory, a major artist on Roadrunner Records, it's Resurrection on Rock This. Welcome back to Rock This, and right here we have Paul Resto from Roadrunner Records. Nice to have you here, Paul. Hey, thanks, Jen. Good Can you tell here. everybody what you do for Roadrunner Records? Sure, product manager is a quarterback. Where does creativity come into play when you're getting a marketing campaign together? Pretty much, you can sum it up in one phrase. The art is in the implementation. Hey, welcome to Rock This, live from my rooftop in New York City, as you can see. The Empire State Building behind me, the Chrysler Building, and many other crazy apartment buildings in Manhattan. It's too hot here on the summer day, but um, you're going to see many great videos during the show. We have something from the Misfits, Power Man 5000, Amorphous, and we have some live footage from the new band Static X, who are on the Ozfest, but I caught up with them about a month ago when they did a New York City show, so you're going to want to check out some live footage from that. And we're going to get into things on Rock This. Here's one from the Misfits. Welcome to Rock This. I'm your host, Jen, and today on the show I have a very special guest with me, a good friend of mine, Amy, the Loud Rock editor of CMJ. What's up? Hello, Amy. Hello, what's up, Thanks Jen? Thanks on Rock This. Anytime. We're going to see a lot of great videos today, some old school ones, because I know you're a big metal fan out there. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about CMJ, because I know you have the magazine right in your hand. And what does it stand for exactly? CMJ stands for the College Music Journal. Most of you might have seen CMJ Monthly, which is a consumer magazine. Right now we're here with the Step Kings. Yeah. All right. They just hit a set to promote their record. Let's talk about the record a little more. Let's, talk Let's, get, it Let's get it on. Let's get it on. What a great time to Revolution. That was Atari Teenage Riot there with Revolution.
revolution action from their latest CD, 60 Second Wipeout. Right now we're going to hear from an all-girl band. This is the Luna Chicks on Rock This. Hey, you're here with Jen on Rock This, and I have a very special guest, Mike, the guitarist from Incubus. I'm special. Yes, he is. Been waiting for this all night, and I appreciate you coming on the show. And uh, you have a new album out, of course. It's Make Yourself. Yes. Welcome to Rock This, I'm your host Jen, and today on the show we're going to be featuring WNYU. That's right, I'm at the radio station right now. It's a great college radio station right here in New York City. Hi, welcome to Rock This, I'm your host Jen, and I got my little pal here today, Sammy the Skull, helping me co-host a special today to get us all in the mood for Halloween because this is our first annual Halloween special on Rock This. I'm going to shut up Sammy for now because he'll talk to me a little later on keep me company. And uh, we're going to show you some freaky, scary, spooky videos to get you guys all in the mood to go trigger, or treat and go bobbing for apples, whatever. But I hope all you guys, you know, get on a cool costume this season and maybe you get some cool ideas from our freaky videos coming up. But we're going to start the show off with a music video from the Misfits. They have a new CD out. It's called Famous Monsters. And the first single that they shot the video for is called Scream. Right, this is our Valentine's Day special right here on Rock This. I'm your host, Jen, and the show is going to be featuring videos that have love, lust, or bitter disgust themes going on in them. Because some of us are really happy it's Valentine's Day. We got that someone special right there. But other people, maybe like myself or some other friends you know, are a little bitter about things. So let's get into another video right here on Rock This. Well, that's it for this Valentine's Day special of Rock This. I'm your host, Jen. And remember, it doesn't matter if you have a date or not, as long as you're happy with yourself. That's my advice. And right now, this is going out to the down and out people out there. Hopefully you guys can cheer up because sometimes falling in and out of love is not even worth it. It's just a hassle. And this is anger from Downset going out to all you guys out there. Happy Valentine's Day. Hard Knocks right there bringing you their breakbeat madness from their first single, Come In Hard. And right now we're going to turn the tables a little bit, going from the electronic thing right now to the hardcore thing. And I'm talking about a Christian hardcore band, that's right. They're called P.O.D., which stands for Payable on Death. But if I didn't tell you they were a Christian, I'm sure you guys wouldn't even know it just slide past you because you'd be rocking out like crazy just to any other hardcore band out there. And this isn't your mother's Christian music. Trust me on that. This is P.O.D. Live, preaching the positive word on Rock This. I bring it up. Don't bring it up close. <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode of Rock This. I'm your host, Jen. Remember to tune in every Friday right here on Channel 57 at 6.30. And next week, we're going to have a rare interview with producer extraordinaire. I'm talking about Ross Robinson. Once again, Ross Robinson. That's right. He's going to be here on Rock This with me, your host, Jen. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. You know, Ross is that great producer. He did Corn Limp Biscuit, and he had Slipknot, who we feature here lots of times. So we're going to sit down and chat with the man, Ross Robinson himself. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Until next week, check out this video. The Luna Chicks right there trying their luck on love. And speaking of metal chicks, here's a great metal band on the horizon these days. They're called Kitty. It's K-I-T-T-I-E, not K-I-D-D-I-E, which you guys might think from seeing this video because these girls are very young. They're not even legal yet, okay? But they can really rock. Right now, we're going to get into something. Here's some shades apart. This band is amazing, especially if you like covers. You're going to dig this video because you remember that Soft Cell song back in the 80s, Tainted Love? Well, they do a really hardcore cover, so you should check it out on Rock This. Right now, we're going to check out a video from Everclear on Rock This. And normally, you know, I play the heavier side of music, metal, hardcore, punk, whatnot. But Everclear, come on, they're a rockin' band. And they do a great cover of The Boys Are Back in Town for the amazing Kiss movie, Detroit Rock City. Well, actually, you know, it's not totally about Kiss. 
It's about these four boys coming of age on a mission to go see their favorite band, Kiss. And I'm sure you guys are all Kiss fans, so you should check out Detroit Rock City. And this song is from the movie. It's Everclear doing a cover of The Boys Are Back in Town. It's all about Slipknot on Rock This. Hopefully you guys are Slipknot fans by now. They're on that Roadrunner record label. And I'm sure they're going to be coming back to New York City real soon. We'll keep you guys posted. But right now, before you see them live, let's check out a video. This is called Spit It Out. And guess what movie they took the theme from on Rock This.